Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Legacy Let's Play episode. We are officially in a brand new world. Okay, you guys, if you have seen the Let's Play before, we came from Chestnut Ridge. Now we're in the new world of Tomerang, which came with the new expansion pack Sims for, for rent. And we're gonna be landlords. I'm excited to see how it goes. But so far, this is what I have on the lot, okay? The family has a little bit more money than they had in Chestnut Ridge, but we don't have that much money. So this lot is not finished, but hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm going for. I want to do another row of townhomes like I did with the San Sequoia townhomes. These are actually connected. I don't think those were. They were like separate houses, but that's the goal. And so basically what it'll be like when we expand, there will be another one of these on this side of the house and then, you know, so on and so forth. So that's the plan right now. It may take a while because we're still trying to earn money and I don't know how fast it's going to be as far as being a landlord. But I originally was going to move the family into my beachfront condos. That didn't go well. So that plan had to change and I felt like building this. So I went on and worked on it. Let me show you guys the inside. So starting at the first floor, this is our unit. Let me hide the other unit. They're pretty similar the way they're laid out, but this one is designed specifically for our family. So we have a few things that the other units may not have. This is our little living room and we actually have a TV this time in the living room, which is nice. We didn't actually get to use the living room in the last build because we were broke, but now we have a living room. This is the kitchen. I tried to make it really colorful and fun. The inside is not quite as colorful as the exterior, but I still really liked it. I hope you guys do too. The dining table is small, but if I'm being honest, my Sims never sit at the table together. So I just don't think that's going to be a problem. And then here's a little half bath as well. So then going up to the second floor, we have Jackson and Poppy's bedroom. This one is Jackson's bedroom. It's so plain. I don't know why. I just have a lot of trouble decorating for Jackson right now. And I don't know why, but it looks so plain. But he has a desk. And yeah, there's his little bed. Then we have a bathroom shared between him and Poppy. I mean, anyone can use it, but it's on this floor. Then here is Poppy's bedroom right here. It's a little bit different than the other one in, in the other house. I guess they all are different, honestly because it's a different world. But here's her little bedroom. I actually think this one is my favorite one this time. And I got them a hedgehog. I think it's a hedgehog. But I figured the My First Pet stuff is free for a limited time. I went on and got it. Alston has a horse, technically. Nevada is his horse. So I thought, well, let's just give Jackson and Poppy a pet. So this is technically both of their pets. I don't know if his name is Thimble or... If you can change that, I'm not really sure about that, but I think it's a hedgehog. Anyway, going up to the third floor, we have a very empty hallway. And then we have Austin's bedroom, which once again, his bedroom is quite large. Actually, no, he had the small bedroom in the last house. So this time it's quite big and it looks really empty, but we'll get there. We'll get it fixed. Then we have another bathroom up here. And then we have Johnny and Jade's room right here, which is... Not got a lot of stuff in it, honestly, either. But they do have a TV this time. And the house does still seem kind of empty in places. But you have to remember, we're still in our first generation of this Let's Play. We're still getting stuff. We're still unlocking stuff. And so we'll get there. But right now, this is where we're at. There's one more part of the actual house. And that is the basement. I did go and in include a little basement, number one, so that we would have our nectar making stuff. Just in case we need to make money, that is an option because Johnny is an expert nectar maker now. So I have that just in case. I'm not really planning on focusing on that. I just wanna keep my options open. Then we do have a water heater and a fuse box, which may be something that I regret later. Then when we go outside, we have a little place for the horses. They're not super happy this morning. I don't know how much they like being in the new world, but I think they'll get settled in. They have everything they need. And since part of the lot is still empty, I went on and put some training stuff down as well, just because, I mean, the space was empty and we might could use it. And they have their one toy. I didn't get them two toys. They never play with it. I'm not going to feel guilty about it they have one toy here's our little garden we brought the bees along with us they're enraged of course and i bought us apache we got to start making friends with him then as far as the garden goes we don't have a greenhouse we don't have any way to cover the plants so we also have a ton of plants i mean technically i could cover them but we have a lot of plants so my curtain plan is to just pull out plants during the season that they're able to grow and then I'll put them up when they're not able to grow. Because the main reason we had the garden was for nectar making. And 
It also makes us a good amount of money, but like I'm not gonna stress it. You know what I mean? We're gonna try to make friends with Patchy and maybe he'll help us. But wow, okay, I think that's all for our unit. So now I'll show you guys the rental unit. This is a one bedroom unit. I wanted to start small. I don't want to be stressed. So I'm gonna start out slow and we're only gonna rent to one person, one single sim, but we have a living room and a kitchen just like in our unit. It's actually really, really similar layout to our unit as well because that's just easiest you know but they don't have a half bath I didn't give them a half bath then up here they have an actual bathroom with everything they need and we have one bedroom I think I ended up putting a computer because I want to get a good rating and I put in don't wake the llama because we already have a chess table over in our unit somewhere but now that I'm thinking about it I don't know where our chess table is I feel like I put a chess table down I think it's in Austin's bedroom anyway I also gave them a piano so they should have plenty of things to do yeah there's our little rental unit so that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be renting that out hopefully to someone who will pay us money <laughs> that's the goal but I'm gonna go on and jump back into live mode. Just in case you guys are new here before we start, I will give you a very, very quick recap. Basically, if you have not seen this Let's Play before, Johnny Zest is our founder. He married Jade Rosa from Windenburg. They have three kids together. Austin is the firstborn. Jackson and Poppy are twins. We of course have two horses, you guys have already seen them. And we're best friends with Marcus, who used to be Jade's roommate, and you will see Marcus. That seems irrelevant, but trust me, we're gonna be seeing a lot of Marcus. So <laughs> that is the recap, I think. That's pretty much it. Jade is currently working right now, but I gave her a new aspiration. She's still working on the Mansion Baron aspiration, okay? But that one's kind of a snoozer because not a lot happens and there's not a lot you can do other than earn money, so. We'll go back over there. We have not made any progress on that. This house is not worth 200,000 simoleons yet, but we're getting there. But I gave her the Seeker of Secrets aspiration because I don't know why I think that makes sense for Jade, honestly. I think she would be interested in knowing the neighborhood gossip. So she needs to discover secrets, snoop for secrets, and eavesdrop on Sims. But Johnny, I gave him the five-star property owner aspiration. But he needs to have a unit occupied by a tenant, handle a maintenance event, and perform an inspection pass. So I'm going to click fill vacancy. So it says rent per day, 108 simoleons. But we can't charge more than 432 so well, let's do 150. I feel like 150 is fair. Let's do that. And the lease length is seven days. Let's let's make it 14. You know, why not? Currently, our unit is rated four stars out of five. That's pretty good. It's got luxury amenities. That's nice. It's fancy environment, but the maintenance is poor. Keep the unit and shared space clean and repaired. So then we can set unit rules, no social events. I don't really mind if they have social events, but I'm gonna say no loud noises because I don't want our Sims being woken up. I don't want our kids being woken up. No trash overload. That's probably a good one. Don't you think? We should probably say no trash overload. Okay, I don't care if they have pets and I don't care if they have ghosts because we actually have a ghost. We have a ghost horse. All right, so we have a few options and most of them are single sims, which is good. I don't recognize any of these names, so I don't really know who is who. But I'm thinking that the Rivera family, it's a young adult and their rent cap is 387. It's higher than everybody else's rent cap. So I'm thinking we could start there. I don't know how to pick out a tenant, you guys. I'm just gonna go with the person who has the most money. So let's do Rivera. Oh my goodness, we are getting taxed 50 simoleons per day. So we're only actually gonna make a profit of 100 simoleons a day. It does appear that uh, that worked out though. We do have a unit now rented by a tenant, occupied by a tenant. So now we need to handle a maintenance event and perform an inspection pass, which says visit a rental unit that your Sims own, select various breakable options and choose to do inspection and maintenance. All right, so let's see, is this our tenant right here? Denzel Rivera? I don't know who this lady is. Venetia? Venetia? Um, I don't know her. I don't think she's involved. Here's our tenant, guys. Oh, he's actually kind of handsome. Let's introduce ourselves to him. Okay, I don't think he, I don't know if he likes horses. I'm gonna go inside. All right, let's head inside, hopefully, and perform 
a little bit of an inspection, make sure everything's doing good. Denzel is actually still outside. We might can snoop around in his house, even though that's more Jade's thing. I wonder if we could bring her over here. Bring Jade Rosa here. Okay, it looks like she can actually come straight in. She doesn't have to knock as well. So Denzel's not even going to realize we're here. He doesn't even know we're here. Let's try to snoop. Let's look in his bookcase. Oh, that completed that. We performed an inspection pass, so we're doing pretty good. Jade has discovered that Denzel has this secret. Now I'm a bear lever? What? Now I'm a bear lever? What does that mean? I don't even know what that means, you guys. Okay, let's snoop at something else. Let's find something else. I get that we can upgrade this stuff, but I just kind of feel like we haven't even started upgrading stuff in our own unit. So I don't know if I want to do that. It actually gives you the option to snoop on his bed. So I'm going to do that as well. But we're doing good. We've got two snoops done. Did Johnny, did you get done? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go on and inspect the shower. This seems... Kind of tedious so far. No secrets here. Perhaps the life of hunting for another's dirty laundry isn't in the cards. Yes, it is in the cards. Can we snoop on his computer? Oh, it says Jade would have found a secret here, but all of the relevant secrets have been found. So all the dirt we have on Denzel is that he's a bear lever, whatever that means. I'm going to let Jade go home. And then there's Denzel. Oh, no. Okay, he wants us to go too. Let's all go home. Oh my goodness, it takes them ages to get home. It's right next door, but he's went the long way around. Come on, Johnny. I don't really know how I feel about the loading screens. I feel like it defeats the purpose of the multi-unit lot, but at the same time, I don't really want to see other people's furniture when I'm playing, so I have mixed feelings about that. <gasps> Who is that? Denzel is using our grill over here, but this is not actually supposed to be a shared space. It's not meant to be that way but because it's outside it didn't give me the option to change that so i guess i'll just have to live with the fact that he's cooking on our grill all right i think this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna switch all the kids over to the social aspiration because none of them have completed that but i think we're gonna go explore the town and see what we can get up to see who we can meet who are our neighbors that kind of stuff let's see should we just hop right on over here and meet this neighbor I want to take everyone along with us because I like to micromanage my Sims. What can I say? We have Zephira. I'm going to say Zephira. She's a teen. This is good news because Austin is actually aging up tomorrow. I'm going to let him introduce himself to her. Get to know her a little bit. Does she even live here? Is that the right person or is she just standing here? Okay. Let me get everyone situated. Johnny's getting a phone call from Marcus. I told you guys we'd hear from Marcus. He's wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. I'm going to say no because uh, we have too many things to do. All right. It looks like this is the unit we're visiting. So these are the property owners, I think. And we have Venetia. She was the one who was outside of our unit. I'm going to let Johnny go introduce himself to her. And I'm going to let Jade come on up here and we're going to get to snooping. We need to eavesdrop as well. How do we do? Oh, we can do that right here. Oh, we have a jungle gym. That's not far from where we live. Okay, cool. There's other kids here. Nino Galling. Okay, I'm going to let Poppy make her way over here and maybe Jackson also. I was going to let him ride his bike. There's hopscotch as well. All right, I still want Jade to eavesdrop. She's not doing it. How interesting. Johnny really enjoyed hearing Poppy talk about her interests. Would you say that Johnny lacks discussing interest? Sure, that's fine. Johnny's trying to lie to Jade about his career as if she doesn't know what he does. He doesn't have a career, actually. I want Jade to eavesdrop and they won't stop talking to each other. Why is she acting like she can't? <gasps> She says she can't. She can't get there. Okay, here she goes. Now she's trying to head that way. Our friend left. The teenager that Austin met left. Look how proud he looks of himself. He looks like he is feeling pretty good. He's confident. But here's our nanny. Here's Nanny Salma just randomly out here as well. It's asking if we want to invite her in, but this is not our house. So I feel like that's weird. Oh, is this a night market? Clearly it's daytime because nothing's happening. But I wonder if there will be a bunch of Sims here tonight. There's a Sim. We can go meet him. Let's go introduce ourselves to him. He's a long way away, but it's okay. None of my Sims are doing what I'm telling them to do today. I've asked Poppy to friendly introduce herself to Nino over here. 
I feel like five times and she just won't do it. Let's see if I can eavesdrop on this door now. It won't let me. It says knock on door. I don't want them to know I'm here. I want to eavesdrop. Oh, you guys, Nanny Salma is a bro. That is one of the traits she has. It says Austin has learned the following trait about Salma. She's a bro. I would have never guessed that. That's crazy. Why can't I just eavesdrop on these people? All right, that's fine. I'll just snoop instead. Oh, Jackson's playing marbles. That's not what I told him to do, but I think that's cool. How do you play marbles if nobody's there with you? We don't even have any marbles. I'm gonna let him ride his bike. He needs to do what I told him to do. No secrets here. Okay, there's no secrets there, but there's secrets. I know there's secrets. Let's snoop on the bed. So Poppy did complete the first part of the social butterfly aspiration, but now she needs to make a BFF. And I just honestly, I don't know who she would be BFFs with right now. I'm gonna wait a little while on that and see if she actually makes a good friend that we could do that for. Or her and Jackson could be BFFs. They're twins. We got a secret, you guys. Jade has discovered that Vanessa has this secret. Fruit cake bumble? What does that mean, fruit cake bumble? And I have not figured out how to eavesdrop on someone yet. Is the night market open yet? Can we go over there now? There's people here. There's vendors here. Okay, let's go. Let's ditch Vanisha. She's not got good secrets. Fruitcake fumble. What does that even mean? <gasps> Jackson learned how to ride a bike. Yes, you go, Jackson. Oh my goodness. Jackson has learned how to ride a bike. He can now ride around and travel on any child-sized bicycle. Yes. So he completed that first part, second part of his aspiration. So now he needs to go 12 hours without a negative need moodlet, which <laughs> he's already failing at because he's actually tired. And achieve level six mental skill, which we can do that. He can handle that. He's got plenty of time. Let's go purchase some goods. Let's see what they have. Okay, so it says purchase Tomarani items. We have carrots, jar, four marbles. I already put one of those in our house, so we don't need that. There's a light green tassel, a decorative tassel. Display it proudly on the wall to add a little flair to any room. We could buy that. That's just 50 simoleons. You, we can get an onion. I don't know if we have any onions. Let's buy that. Should I just buy all the tassels? There's a pink tassel. Rainbow. Hey, that's a marble. The classic fantastical super rainbow swirl marble is perhaps the prettiest of the common marbles. Let's buy that. We need one. Oh, there's another one. Sulani swirl. I'm going to give that one to Jackson. He's a child of the ocean. That's so cool. Let's buy Sulani swirl marble. And then we can buy local attire. I don't really know what's what, but I want to unlock it all. So I'm going to buy all four of the outfits. And then we have our little marbles, but there's nothing that you can do with them. So I guess I'll just go put them in our little marble jar. Okay, I think it's time to go home. I feel like we made a little bit of progress with Jade as far as snooping on people. I just didn't get any eavesdropping done. We'll have to do that later, I guess. It says that you can also find two Sims who are having a conversation and choose the eavesdrop option in the friendly social category. I didn't think that would be friendly, honestly, so I didn't look there, so... I may have uh, missed out on some opportunities to do that, but I think that it's time for everyone to come home. Oh, Nevada's back in the house and I, I, I locked the doors. That's the first thing I did was lock the doors from all pets and Nevada just came in the house and apparently Jade and Poppy are jokesters. That's fine with me, but I'm gonna try to lock the door again from all pets. I can't believe that. The horses are doing pretty good. Their fun is low as usual. I've asked them to play. They're not interested in it. So I'm just going to let them do whatever they want over there. Johnny is sad because they won't play with their little toy, but he can come kind of chat with Patchy a little bit. We can go on and start working on Patchy and the bees uh, bit us. They didn't bite us. They stung us. The bees stung us. Okay. Let's see. Austin has already completed his second aspiration. So he just completed the creative one he completed artistic prodigy he reached creativity level 10 and now he's creatively gifted so he's doing really good i think i'm gonna let him go to sleep he's done completed two aspirations which is good we'll work on social a little bit tomorrow but like i said he ages up tomorrow as well but i think for now he can go on and stop and get take care of himself and go to sleep he's doing really good jackson's already asleep poppy is just needing to eat and then she will be able to go on up and go to sleep as well they are putting their plates all over the place i may have to call a maid before it's over because 
they are they <laughs> Johnny's in the house with his um beekeeper suit on and Poppy quit trying to eat because I tried to send her to bed and then Jade I think I'm gonna send her to bed as well she doesn't have work tomorrow but she's pretty tired look at them all you guys in our new little house in the new little world it's so cute Oh, and now it's not cute anymore. They're done. See, look, they're just chucking their plates wherever. And none of them will eat at the dining table. I don't think anybody has eaten at the dining table at all. And it is functional. Oh my goodness, it's winter now. I gotta, hold on, I gotta take care of my plants. I don't think we have a whole lot of winter plants. It actually might be nice to not have as much to take care of for a while. Yeah, we're not gonna have a lot at all. It's gonna pretty much half the size of our garden until the spring. I bet these are out of season as well. <gasps> it won't let me listen. You guys, I had to leave the apple and the pomegranate and the lemon tree behind. It wouldn't let me take them. It won't let you place them in your inventory. It just gives you the option to sell. So I just planted all three of those trees, which everything's fine except for the apple, but it won't let me put it up in my inventory and I don't like that. I'm gonna let Johnny do a few upgrades around our property. That way we can start maybe doing some upgrades around the other properties later. But first I wanna upgrade our unit because I feel like that makes the most sense. But that is it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I still feel kind of very confused with this pack right now. I'm still trying to figure everything out. So if you have any tips or anything, let me know down in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will talk to you guys soon with another one, but that is all for today. So bye guys.